The basics of accessing databases using LINK are covered in Session 10 of the Essential Skills course. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the AVERAGE LINK method to carry out a complex database query. To begin, open the Market Trader project from your Sample Files folder. and open marketaverage.aspx in design view. When complete, this page will allow the user to get the average value of a market across a range of dates. To make this possible, you'll use the average link method. Now open the code behind file of marketaverage.aspx. You're now going to add some code to the button get average value click event handler to retrieve records from the quote database table for the selected market and date range. Add the following code. Using market trader data context data equals new market trader data context int market ID equals convert dot two int thirty two drop down list market dot selected value date time start date equals calendar date from dot selected date date time finish date equals calendar date two dot selected date var result equals data dot quotes dot where quote lambda Quote dot market ID equals equals market ID and quote dot quote date is greater than or equal to start date and quote dot quote date is less than or equal to finish date. If you don't understand this code, refer to Session 10 of the Essential Skills course. Next, you're going to add some code to retrieve the average of the quote value field from the quote database table. Add the following code on the next line. Decimal average quote value equals result dot average quote lambda quote dot quote value the average link method allows you to get a single average value from all of the records retrieved from the database the link data context also contains some other useful aggregate methods these include sum which adds together the values of all records, count, which counts the number of records, max, which gets the highest value, min, which gets the lowest value, and first, which gets the first value. If you're familiar with the SQL language, you'll recognize these as counterparts to SQL functions. You'll learn more about some of these in Lesson 9-3. You could be forgiven for thinking that the average value is being calculated after the results are returned by the database. In fact, the Visual Studio compiler is extremely intelligent and looks ahead in your code to send a single SQL query to the database that only returns the average value. 
Although you could have calculated the average value using a C-sharp for each loop, it is almost always better to have SQL Server perform the calculation for you. There are two reasons why this is better. Firstly, SQL databases have all kinds of optimizations designed to speed up calculations. And secondly, if the calculation is done on a remote SQL Server, the server only has to return a single record, so network traffic is greatly reduced. Next, you're going to add some code to display the result on the page. Add the following code on the next line within the using statement. Label average value dot text equals average quote value dot two string zero point zero zero. Now let's test your code. View market average dot aspx in your web browser. Now click Get Average Value and the average value of the quotes for the selected period is displayed. Close your web browser now and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 9-1. Use the average link method.